so for the past few weeks now things have changed a lot of things have been going on with my family life a lot of things have changed in my personal life it's been a very difficult time for about a week I just stayed in bed I didn't get up I didn't do anything but it just got to that point where I felt like I had to get up I had to get on with my life it's just taking every day as it comes and just doing the things in the moment that can try and make things a bit better like I've been doing more rock climbing I've been getting out of the house because I know for a fact that personally for me the worst thing is just staying inside the house not doing anything and just feeling even worse even the past few years just talking about mental health has just been such a big thing and I think that's so amazing it's also just remembering that you have your down days you have your good days and however you're feeling today it's gonna be okay. putting a bit of makeup on, just making myself more glammed up, let's say, may be a way of making me feel a little bit better. Today was a day where I thought, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put some glam on, spruce myself up a little bit. <laughs> make myself a hot chocolate didn't I? Ever since Halloween I bought these Halloween pumpkin-y kind of marshmallows and I'm completely obsessed with them and I'm really sad now because these are my last two marshmallows and that means it's officially end of Halloween season. Oh my gosh, I've stained my trousers already. I just feel like because it's getting colder and darker it just makes you feel more cozy. It's just like a festive tradition for myself of always having hot chocolate with marshmallows. But it's gotten to the point where I've started having them every day. It's become a really bad addiction. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's a bad one though. But one thing I do not like about the winter time is just how dark it gets. It gets dark about half past three. So by the time you've gotten up, you're getting up most of the time in the pitch black, of course, depending on what time you get up. But then when you wake up in the dark, it just feels so much earlier than it actually is. And then my body just feels so much more tired and just constantly in my head, just like, just go back to sleep. You don't need to be up at this time. I feel like it just completely changes the way that I feel. Like it's half past one right now and I'm already getting ready for bed because I know in a couple of hours it's going to be dark. And as soon as it gets dark, I'm like, bedtime. a nice little stroll just to get out. I took my week newspapers with me and just did a bit of reading on the bench. It's definitely a lot colder than I thought it would be. It's starting to feel like winter now. So just a little update with you guys to do with the army. That was my chair. Things are going good. I did a little volunteering weekend with them last weekend and it was actually really fun. So I went there the Friday evening. It was for the Lord Mayor show in London. Slept on the floor, which was the most horrific experience of my life. Everyone bought their sleeping bags and we slept on mats or like the type of army beds, which didn't look pretty comfortable. So I went with the mats and when I laid my mats down, 
I said, does anyone snore? Because I don't want to lay my mats down here if someone next to me is going to snore. No one put their hands up. And as soon as everyone went to bed, we had a freaking snorer right next to us. And he was the loudest person I've ever heard in my whole entire life. He echoed throughout the whole hall and kept everyone up. So I decided to move my mat to the other side of the hall. Not that it made much difference, but I did it anyway, just to not have it in my ear. I was literally laughing. I was laughing so hard because I said, this is so typical. I'm such a light sleeper. I cannot sleep with anyone that's snoring next to me. It is the most horrific thing and it will keep me up all night, every night. Some of the guys had to get up and wake him up and say, look, you're keeping everybody up. <laughs> like, you need to be quiet. And as soon as he stopped, the girl next to us started to snore. This is the first weekend I've actually done with the army. So it was the first taster of what it was like. I met some people there that I hadn't met before because drill nights, you know, people come, some people don't. So you don't always get the chance to meet everyone in one go. We didn't get much sleep on the first night. So everyone has to do rounds of staying up. I think that's just an army thing. You have to make sure someone's awake at all times. So everyone had to do different sections of the night for an hour or so. so yeah, so practically we got very minimal sleep. And then the next day we had to go in our fancy uniforms because it was the Lord Mayor show. I was on top of the, the man V, it's called, the big truck. And it was being broadcasted on BBC One. So it was super exciting. And I just remember having this camera in front of my face thinking, oh my goodness, am I supposed to do something here? Seconds after I realized, oh, it's because the mayor's there. And I was supposed to salute, but I was never told to salute. So I just... And then I did the Remembrance Day on Sunday with them. So a lot of people stayed and we got in our uniform and paid our respects. Did a service for Remembrance Day. So that was really nice to be a part of too. And it just made me realise how amazing it is to be in the army. Even though it's just the reserves. Just getting opportunities like that. And yeah, it doesn't ever feel like work. And I think that's always been my main goal in life. To always do something that doesn't feel like work i don't even like using the word work for the army because it's not to me work is just has a whole different meaning it's just a whole different world and different life and it's just something yeah really excited to be a part of but throughout that weekend i was having a think about my next steps for the army what i wanted to do i wasn't too sure if i wanted to go for the officer role or not the officer roles yes it has more responsibility and that's not necessarily what's putting me off as such it's more that i may get less time in the field but because you are managing you are going to have less time in the field i like getting people's opinions who are in the army because it gives you a bit more of an insight rather than just my own because i don't have the experience or the knowledge of what it will be like in as an officer so just getting as much information as I can to make my own decision. So that's kind of what I've been doing. And I have come to the conclusion that I am going to go for officer. But in the meantime, I am going to join as a reservist. I do feel like I want to do more managing and to have more responsibility and kind of more of the officer role. So I think that is the best thing for me so i think that is the next step for the army which is going to be exciting i have put in my application for the officer so it's just about taking time and more time and probably more time to get in as an officer but it's a whole different journey so i'm very excited for that i hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are and i'll see you guys soon